Today is July 19th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the newest items on Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Now, of course, as usual, before I take a look at the new stuff on the shop, we need to cover this week's ultimate reward. You get the Tactical Clippy Weapon Charm this week. I really don't care for this one too much. It looks fine, but considering there's now a free version and a paid version of the Clippy Weapon Charm, of course, they are different enough where I don't think it's that much of an issue. Uh, but honestly, if you didn't buy the Weapon Charm in the first place but wanted it, you might as well just go for the free one. But really, this isn't one that I care about and isn't one that I think is worth you all, the, all the effort you have to go through. The Alpha Pack event has started this week, but honestly, if you were to look at the shop, it wouldn't feel like it. There's two repeats and two new bundles. We'll talk about the repeats first. First of all, the perfect sublimity armor effect. This costs 500 credits and gives you this weird sort of blue four on a flame on your wrists. It's fine enough, but I really think it should be 300, not 500. If that were the case, I think many more people would buy it, and I think that would be a much fairer price. It's decent enough, I just don't think it's worth 500. The other repeat this week is the Sealox armor set. It's back, and it's one of the more faithful Gen 2 remakes. You get the Sealox helmet, which is of course the new version of Gen 2 Scout, the one used by Commander Palmer. This looks fine, not a helmet I'd use, but it's decent enough. You also get the Lava Burst coating. I really like this one. I like the sort of texture on the undersuit and the red and gold pattern. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Honestly, it gives me Iron Man vibes. There's also the helmet attachment for Sealox. I don't like how this looks. It looks really goofy. There's also the Beltane Flame Visor. This one's okay, but there is two other visors that look very similar to it. So if you like this visor, there's probably another option. There's also the Contact Plate chest piece this is decent enough but not one i'd ever use as well as the gdos shoulder pads might have pronounced that wrong these are just very simplistic shoulder pads not bad but nothing too special there's the corvin gloves and the type as knee pads again these are fine and you also get the fire team crimson nameplate but you also get it as an emblem for your vehicles weapons and armor for 1200 this honestly isn't a bad bundle you get some decent stuff here and i think 1200 is a relatively fair price you get a lot of things for your mark 7 uh, i mean when that coating's cross core i might use it on some of the other cores because it is pretty decent if i ever buy this bundle uh, but for 1.2k honestly not a bad option 13 items for 1200 credits now going over to the new stuff these are relatively underwhelming you get the old ironstone bundle which gives you a coating for the mongoose and gongoose for 200 credits now i can't complain too much because this basically does work out at 100 credits each but considering we also had a 200 credit bundle that gave you three coatings one for the war tag, the razorback and the rocket tag, this honestly somehow feels overpriced the last thing this week is the arrival of the Cambion Helmet. This is the only other Rikshasa Helmet, bar the one that is in the event, that will be releasing this season as far as I'm aware, which means it will be probably the last new helmet on the shop. The helmet itself is okay, it's basically the Rikshasa version of Warmaster. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, the helmet itself looks really small. It costs 700 credits overall, you get the helmet and three attachments with it, as well as the lucky number 7 nameplate, as well as obviously this for your vehicles, weapons and armor. Uh, the attachments themselves are okay. There's the Ferberus one, which again, I've probably pronounced wrong. This is probably my favorite of the attachments. However, the visor on it changes depending which armor coating you've got on rather than changing with your visor. This I don't really like because I usually like changing my visor to match my coating, but a lot of the visors on this helmet don't feel like they match the coating at all. So it's really weird. There's also the Sibo helmet attachment. Uh, I don't really like this one, uh, but the final one, the Bane attachment is pretty decent. One thing worth mentioning mentioning is the correct attachments don't appear to align correctly in the menu right now. If I look at SIBO, it shows me the Bane attachment and vice versa. This is really weird. I don't understand how this is an issue. The preview images are correct, uh, but it shows you a different helmet when you go over to it. So for two weeks in a row, we've had an issue with the shop, which should not be present. But anyway, that sums up everything this week. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what you think of this week's shop down in the comments, and I'll catch you all in the next one.